Hi and welcome to this video where I'm going to take a closer look at the Teradek Bolt 500 DSMC2. Probably most of you will be familiar with Teradek as a brand that makes the Bolt series wireless transceivers, the transmitters and the receivers for basically any camera. But one of the issues, if you can call it an issue, is that you have to mount the Bolt transmitter on your camera. And normally you would attach a Bolt with a magic arm, but now Teradek has specific Bolt units where this Bolt module is being attached on the back of your camera and then you put your v expander from RED uh, on the Bolt itself. But it's great to actually use it in this uh, form factor where you have all the advantages of the regular bolts but you don't have to be busy with uh, readjusting the magic arm, uh, paying attention to maybe bumping into something. It's all nicely integrated into the camera. Now we have used this particular setup for uh, a Cirque du Soleil uh, documentary project that we were working on. Look at that. How super tiny that is. Just completely integrated into our camera. Now the only thing that happens is that the DSMC2 bolt will take the HDMI monitor path of the camera and therefore it will render your HDMI output on your VLOG expander useless. Or it will do that with the left side of the EVF LCD. Um, so that means that you have one less image path to use. Um, for me, that wasn't such big of a problem, but that has to do with the fact that I'm not using a red EVF, but I'm actually using a Zakuto Gratical EVF, which will attach to the HDSDI output of the VLOG expander. If you, however, use both the touch monitor LCD from red and the EVF from RED, then you might have a slight problem because you can't use both of them and use the bolt. You then might want to just invest a normal bolt. Range-wise, you have the same three options as the regular bolt range. So you have a bolt 500, 1000 and 3000. Um, these numbers mean feet. So um, depending on the type of production you have and the type of range you need in your typical productions, you could choose a bolt that fits your needs. The DSMC2 bolt module is compatible with the Bolt XT and LT receivers of the same range. Uh, so this is something uh, to pay attention to. If you already have receivers, then you probably want to have the same range bolt DSMC2 module. And the other potential issue that I can imagine you would have is if you would use a top plate. So for our purposes and use, we actually don't use a red top plate or any other top plate. Um, but if you use one, then sometimes the top plate actually comes out a bit further from the back and the bolt module actually has two antennas. This means that these antennas can be blocked and you can't actually put them on. So this could be an issue. Another issue with that is that uh, because of these two antennas, if you want to grab the camera quickly, you have to kind of pay attention that you don't knock them over or break them. Top tip, just keep a few spares so you never have the situation where an antenna breaks and you can't go on. And in that sense, it's actually easier to use this module because you don't have to rely on cables anymore. So should you buy into this bold DSMC2 uh, module? Well, I think that it has some advantages over a regular bold transmitter uh, if you're a red DSMC2 user, owner, operator. And um, that has largely to do with just a more integrated system, which is so much nicer to work with. Now, if you're not so sure if you will stay on this DSMC2 body, then you will probably be better off with just a regular board transmitter because it will give you more flexibility in the cameras that you can use. For me, it might be something uh, to consider to actually buy into, especially because we used um, the red body and the red DSMC2 um, bodies 
basically on every production and we also use bolts on almost every production. Um, so for us, it's um, probably something we will actually consider buying. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you next time.